Peggy 18. Everything is now set in stone. We're moving toward the finish line. And we go from being directors early on to being testers. Everything is there. It's like a movie where, you know, you can see it all together and, and uh, edit it and, and, you know, apply some post process there, refocus there. It's just a magical moment when you get to the point where people on the team start finishing the game from beginning to end. That's when you can get some of your most meaningful feedback, you know, and, and some of your most meaningful tweaks to the player experience. To see it in, in its entirety felt like some sort of an incredible achievement. The freedom that you have, it's amazing. This chance that you have to actually experience being an assassin in first person with all his powers is very unique. There are ups and downs and moments of mystery and surprise that are the revealing shots and the discovery of a new area or a new type of gameplay. We try to have verticality in our game, like you can jump everywhere, you can climb everywhere, you can blink everywhere. We try to blend the settings, the story and the mechanics all together to try to make something uh, really immersive. Like You have a lot of choices and every choices that you make are making your experience uh, so that every experience is different for every player. It's a mixture of romantic, mysterious atmosphere and a lot of violence and adrenaline mixed together. I hope that the players will feel like a supernatural assassin and that uh, they really get to express the way they want to play and make all those choices moment to moment and feel really good about it and, and be thrilled when they see the consequences and that the world is actually reacting to, to what they do. We love this type of game with a stealth element and action and uh, simulation behind all the player powers and uh, it's only once every blue moon that we get to work on this type of game. The results of so many years of, uh, of working hard and suddenly you see it like coming out and it's, uh, it feels really, really good for all of us. You know, we're creating worlds and we, we are creating life in a way. So when you see game, I think it's pretty special. <laughs> I love it. People out there can sense and feel quality above a certain level. So no matter what genre you do, no matter what medium you use, if you try for perfection and you have amazing craftsmanship, people out there would know that it's not a marketing gimmick, it's not a sales technique that you're packaging into something, but it's something that's awesome and they have to have it. 